apologize for that. I was just uh, thanking you for your time and then wondering if you could walk us through the process of the entire free agency period. When did the Jets first start showing interest in, and how this thing came together? Oh uh, yeah, free agent was uh, kind of like a, a like a, a long process for me because just you know trying to find the right situation and you know what situation would benefit me more, you know, and what deal would you know benefit me more as well. But um, the Jets, I think they were showing interest, you know, throughout the whole thing, and finally, you know, we just got down to you know a better deal or a deal that we was looking for, a deal that better suits me, and, and kind of just went from there. So. McCole, um, thanks for doing this. Can you uh, could you update us where you are health wise? Uh, I know you had you had a surgery about a month ago, and uh-huh. what your what your expectation is for the spring? Um, health wise, uh, I'm probably like a, probably a few weeks out, but you know, definitely on the right right track. Um, probably ahead of schedule right now as we speak. Um, so the health is definitely um, um, not going to be a factor coming to the spring. Hopefully, I'll be um, you know fully healthy before uh, OTAs even start. Um, so definitely not not one of my worries right now. Um, so uh, definitely should be good. And my expectation is just to get out here and, you know, earn the respect of my teammates, my coaches, um, get this playbook down. And so I can, you know, start playing freely and, um, and just, you know, go in here and show everybody what I can do. McCall, why, why did you pick the Jets and how much did the possibility of playing with Aaron Rodgers play into it? Um, well, I think the, the Jets was, was, was a good situation. Um, I think that they got a great foundation here. They 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 got some some nice pieces. Um, I think Alan Lazar, you know, him signing, you know, I think playing alongside him have been great too. And they they got a you know a great you know second year player now, and, and Garrett Wilson who had a, a absolutely you know unbelievable year. Um, so just you know guys of those those names, you know, just to play alongside them definitely you know is, is attractive. And um, so and I mean obviously you know the news with A Rod and everything like that. We um still don't know what's going on over there, but um, obviously that, that's something you can think about. But as um, far as, you know, besides that, it was just more so thinking was, the Jets itself was like the right fit for me. McCole, obviously a big part of your game is uh, speed. Do you feel like you, after the injury, you'll be as fast as ever? And how does your speed fit in what you know about what this offense is going to look like? Uh, Yeah, I'm probably even faster, honestly. Um, I mean... I'm, I'm definitely going to do the right things to, to get it back. And, um, you know, and this right here definitely not going to hold me back from, you know, trying to get faster. And, you know, I think Coach Hackett with this uh, this offense definitely can utilize, you know, this my speed and, you know, certain things that I do well and um, incorporate it throughout, you know, the game plan. So how does a great quarterback help a receiver? Obviously, you just played with one of the greatest. One of the greatest could be here in a couple of weeks. Uh, how does playing with a great quarterback like Mahomes or possibly Aaron Rodgers help a receiver? Um, I think so any any quarterback of any caliber that's, you know, one of the highest will help anybody out. Just just this fact that, you know, they can make plays, they can put you in the right position, they can make those other quarterbacks can't make. So once you get that, you know, on your team or around you, it just makes you a better receiver overall. Thanks. McCall, McCall I, I noticed that. Uh, Go ahead, Rich. Okay. McCall, what do you see as your role being? You were a guy who who caught passes in a variety of different ways, uh, slot, outside. You were used a lot on jet sweeps. And even earlier in your career, you did a lot of kick and punt returning. Do you see yourself going back to returning kicks? And what do you see yourself as uh, doing as a receiver? Um. Well, just, you know, I think it's going to come with more means with, with the coaches and, you know, just figuring out a, a game plan of, of – of what exactly my role would be in this offense. But um definitely, you know, the return game is 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 a um it's something that I that I love to do and probably will continue to do here. Um, you know, if that's if that's the plan, if they want me to do that. And um just far as like, you know, receiver wise, man, I just want to do what I can do to just help the team win the games, whether they, you know, just be jet sweeps or, you know, quick streams or if it's stretching the field, whatever, you know, my my number is called to do, I just want to go out there and do it and just do it the, the best way I can. So McCole, kind of following up on that, I think um, Adam Schefter tweeted after you agreed, you know, jet sweeps, here come jet sweeps or something. And you said it's going to be more than jet sweeps. Do you think people kind of don't have a full understanding of what you can do as a receiver? Obviously, the Kansas City offense, you had Tyreek for a lot of time there, Kelsey, there was a lot of weapons in that offense. Do you think, you know, people maybe don't appreciate what you can do yet? 
Um, I mean, I, I guess you, you you could say that in in a sense, but you know, I think the role I had in KC was the role that was given to me and the role that I did very well. And I think just you know those jet sweeps or whatever y'all see me do, I did it did the best way I could. And I think the people just put that narrative that you know that's what I was capable of doing, you know. And um, so but I think you know being in this offense and you know. Going forward, I probably can show people a little bit more than you know just the the quick game or the jet sweeps. You know, actually showing a little bit of the route tree and you know catching the ball across the middle of the field or or you know some outbreaking routes and stuff like that, just to show a little bit more of my game. <clears throat> McCall, to be clear, would you have signed here if you didn't know if Aaron hadn't said that he was planning to come here? Like if this was a week ago and there was uncertainty who the Jets quarterback would be would you have signed here or is that too big a piece for a receiver you have to know who your quarterback is going to be um no I, I probably definitely um still would have signed here just to get in fact of the, the coaching staff that's here um I think you know nobody knows what's, what's happening with this deal like y'all know what I know basically of what, what, what we're hearing so I mean I mean what what does it what did it do for my decision? Nothing basically, you know. Like I said, like with the the guys like Lazard signing and, and Garrett Wilson signing. I mean, not signing, but Garrett Wilson being here, and then you know, just with the coaching staff and what's going on, I think that was a big part of my decision. Outside of the what the A Rod thing is going on, we'll take a few, few more, few more. McCall, did did Kansas City make an effort to re-sign you? Um, honestly, I don't know. I I don't I don't know if they offer anything worth the talking about or if they just, you know, was moving on. I, I, I don't really know, know the, the exact detail. I'm probably pretty sure they probably offered something. Um, but if they did, it probably wasn't nothing that my agents and them would thought, you know, to consider. <laughs> 